that's how that's what the covenant is. It's, the, it's between the Lord God and Abram. He said, I will make my covenant between me and thee. That's it. He hasn't changed. It's still the same way. People get to the New Testament and say, oh, no, it's about everybody now. No, it's still about Abraham and his seed. That's what it's about. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, he is the Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah. That's who he is. That's the land of the uh, that he was born in. That's the tribe that he was born in of the tribe of Judah. He is a Jew. All the southern kingdom, which consists of Judah and Benjamin, are Jews. And so the Lord said, I will make my covenant between me and thee. He, he's not talking to everybody and anybody else in the world. And he said, I will multiply thee exceedingly. At this point in time, Abraham has a son, Ishmael. But that's not what the Lord promised him. <laughs> he he uh, got ahead of the Lord and made a mistake and did something he shouldn't have did. He had a son with his handmaid, Hagar. I mean, uh, was it Hagar? Yeah, I think it's Hagar. That's her name. But that's not who the Lord told him he was going to have a son with. So he said, I'm going to make this covenant between me and you, and I'm going to multiply you exceedingly. And so he's getting ready to lay down his law with Abraham. When he talk about covenant, he's talking about a law. And this covenant that he's talking about is an everlasting covenant. It's never going to change. Even unto this day, it stands. So let's go to verse 3. He said, and Abram, verse 3 says, And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying. And so when the Lord appeared unto Abram, he fell on his face, prostrate before the Lord. He worshiped the Lord. So if you want to know how to... Uh, Condition yourself to reverence the Lord. Fall on your face. That's how you reverence the Lord. 